The next installation we're going to tackle is a little bit more involved because it requires attaching several furniture pieces together. The booth, the nightstand, and the platform bed unit. Again, alignments are important. Let's start with the booth base. From a hardware standpoint, we'll need four number 10 by 3 inch washer head screws, 13 number 8 by 1 and a quarter inch flathead screws, four number 8 by 3 quarter inch washer head screws, and one 44 inch angle iron. Once again, we also need a small amount of silicone construction adhesive, which is not included. The first step is to assemble the booth base. We're using a right unit, meaning we'll be installing it to the right side of the bed. If you're working with a left unit, you'll obviously be mounting it to the left side of the bed platform. Once again, this piece requires proper wall blocking support. To start the booth assembly, locate the two unfinished wall rails and two finished panels. We will begin by connecting the two finished panels. Start with the shorter side panel, which has a vertical cleat that is used to secure to the longer face panel. It's the one with the notch along the top edge. This notch lines up with the notch on the platform bed base, allowing us to connect both bases together with the angle iron. The angle iron will provide support for the nightstand and the bed platform, but more on that in a minute. With top or notched side down, locate and connect the unfinished wall rails. Remember, the shorter unfinished rail will mount to the bathroom wall and should be opposite the notched finished panel. The longer unfinished panel mounts to the headboard wall and opposite the longer finished panel. Turn the box right side up. All four sides should rest at 13 and a quarter inches above the finished floor. Your base is now assembled. Next, Cut the vinyl wall base away where the base will sit and secure base to wall using two number 10 by 3 inch washer head screws on each unfinished panel. If your walls are not square, you may need to use shims to ensure a square fit. With our booth base in place, it's time to briefly shift gears and spend a few minutes assembling the bed base, which will allow us to extend the angle iron between the two bases and give us the support for the nightstand. To assemble the platform bed base, our hardware includes two number 10 by 3 inch washer head screws, 13 number 8 by 1 and a quarter inch flathead screws, 8 number 8 by 3 quarter inch washer head screws, and two 13 and a quarter inch platform legs. We start by locating the four okay. platform base panels. We attach the raw panel to the two black side panels at the 3 quarter by 3 quarter inside vertical cleats. We make sure that the angle iron slots are closest to the headboard wall. Each of these panels, along with the remaining end panel, can be attached using the number 8 by 1 and a quarter inch flathead screws. With the bed platform base assembled, we can now return to the booth base installation. We start by sliding the 44 inch angle iron into the booth side slot and extend it to the matching bed base slot. Set the booth platform on top of the base. Now we set the nightstand onto the angle iron and butt it up against the booth deck. To secure the angle iron, we're going to use at least two number eight by three quarter inch washer head screws. After leveling the nightstand, secure it to the wall through the back, under the top, using two number 10 by three inch flathead screws. With the nightstand in place, we can finish assembling the booth base. Apply silicone to the four corners of the base and attach booth deck, making sure the radius is facing outward. Secure the angle iron to the booth deck with one number eight by three quarter inch washer head screw. Now we return to the platform bed base and complete the installation. To do this, we'll start with the deck, placing it bottom side up. Now we can attach the metal legs to the foot end of the deck. They should be centered eight inches from each edge and attached using the eight number eight by three quarter inch washer head screws. When aligned properly, the overhang is eight inches on each side of the base. Then a butt to the nightstand. Remove the deck and attach the entire bed base box to the headboard wall using the two number 10 by three inch washer head screws. Do not draw the bed base tight to the wall. Shims can be used to ensure proper distance. Allow space for the vinyl wall base to pass behind the base panels. Apply construction adhesive at the 3 quarter by 3 quarter cleat points like this. 
Now, place the platform deck onto the base and abut to the nightstand. To secure the platform deck to the bed base, use four number eight by one and a quarter inch flathead screws at cleat points. Use one number eight by three quarter inch washer head screw to attach deck to angle iron. Your final step is to remove the film from the nightstand top. Before we move on to other things, we want to install the headboard unit, giving us a completely integrated bed, nightstand, booth installation. The headboard, like other wall-mounted pieces, requires proper wall blocking support. To mount it, we'll need two metal hanger plates, two number 10 by 3 inch flathead screws, four number 8 by 2 inch flathead screws, and two vinyl dots. To start, place headboard above the platform deck and align the edges with the platform deck. Now, locate and level the two metal hanger plates, approximately 16 inches from platform deck to bottom of hanger plate to align with the horizontal groove on the back of the headboard. Attach the plates four to six inches from the edge of the headboard using the number eight by two inch flathead screws. Place the headboard onto the hanger plates so that it sets into the groove. Now, secure the bottom of the headboard with the number 10 by three inch flathead screws by locating a stud in the wall. Last but not least, cover the screws with the vinyl dots to complete the installation. Now we're making some real progress.